Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And before we get started, a happy new year to everyone. 2018 is now done, but on our way to 2019. Uh, and for us, this is a big one. We hope to do amazing, amazing things and we hope the same for you guys too. So of course, if you haven't read the title already, today we talk about the top five best shoes of 2018. 2018 was a madness for us basketball fans, especially our sneaker fans. Pretty much every single brand did a madness. Everyone got involved, everyone was invited. Everyone got involved. And there were some brands that weren't involved and decided to get involved. And did they get involved? Yes, they did. Absolutely amazing year. Quick disclaimer, yes, this video is called Top 5 Best Performance Shoes of 2018. Basically our top five favorite shoes of 2018. So this list isn't the end or be all of all basketball performance shoes. It's just our favorite shoes. With that being said, let's get it. So before we get into the top five list, first some honorable mentions. A few shoes that we really, really enjoyed, but didn't quite make the cut. First in that list, the Hyperdunk 10 or Hyperdunk X. X10. Or Hyperdunk 2018. Even, it's got three names. It's got three names. Wow. So, I mean, so nice they named it three times. I, that's not even the same. Anyway, the Hyperdunk 10 did its thing. It came nice. back, it's the 10th shoe in the line. It came back in some ways a little underwhelming mm -hmm. from what we've seen in other shoes as well. But dual cushioning, we had the forefoot, we had the heel zoom in there. We had that material, it was a textile mesh, super lightweight, flexible, let down a little bit in traction but did the absolute trick. For a sure. shoe you laced up to get done. An absolutely great, great shoe. Now the Hyperdon X is probably one of the best all round shoes of 2018. We love the shoe so much, in fact, mm -hmm. that we have decided to mm -hmm. give the shoe away. And the giveaway is running right now, if you're watching the video before January the 7th. All you gotta do, if you want the Hyperdon Xs, yeah, is go to our Kyrie 5 performance review, Comment your size underneath the video. Before you do that, make sure you like the video. And before you do that, make sure you are subscribed to our channel. If you're not subscribed already, three things, very easy. Get those things done and the shoes could be yours. I'm done talking. Moving on to our next honorable mention, we have the Adidas Harden Volume 3. Wow. Damn. Timmy, where do we even begin? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, what I can say, what I will say, right, yeah. is that this is what a sequel shoe should be. When I say sequel shoe, right, when they make a sequel shoes, obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever it goes up to, yeah. we're talking the third shoe in someone's line. Mm -hmm. But when we're talking how shoes should progress through a line, this is how it's done, for sure. I mean, the Harden Volume 2, we can Clean. Wow, I loved it. I loved it. And low key, the shoe might be better. It is better. And that's how you do signature shoes. Cause it's not every day bring out a brand new shoe. It's not every day brand new everything. Do you mean sometimes just improve? Just improve, just simple just things. Improve. Now it's lighter, plus you get court feel, it's still comfortable, it's still responsive. Mm -hmm. Uppers as well, they took away Forge Fiber. Yeah. Cool, that's fine, Forge Fiber was great. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe it's a weight thing or whatnot, the shoe is still flexible, mm. it's still lightweight, it's still comfortable, it's soft. And for our last honorable mention spot, we're talking about the Puma Clyde Court Disrupt. Clap! In 2018, Puma did an absolute madness. They announced Jay-Z as president of basketball. Mental. <laughs> okay. Whoa! They signed DeMarcus Cousins, they signed Michael Ward Jr., Happy Terry Jay. Rozier. I mean, the list goes on. And then they decide to drop this as they first shoe into the basketball market. Starting off with our favorite part of the shoe, the cushioning was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so Combination of energy beads yeah. and ignite beads and it felt buff. You have comfort, court feel and response, which is exactly what you want in a basketball yeah. shoe. The materials were clean, Very so, so clean. Knitted. Breaking time was minimal. Premium. Maybe even, not even needed. Not even there. We we're both extremely happy with Puma bringing out this amazing shoe this year. And we cannot wait for the rest of Puma's basketball line because if this is their intro to me, if this is their intro, this is their rookie. This is their, this is their rookie. Then their future is very bright. Bright like this shoe. I was gonna say the same thing. Great minds think alike, T. Mine's broke. 
So now, getting into that top five list, in the number five spot, we have the LeBron Soldier 12. Wow! Now, if you ask us, this might be the best traditional big man shoe out there. It's not maybe to me. It's not maybe? It's not maybe. If you ask us, this is the best traditional big man shoe out there. Now, when we say that, we mean that locked in, locked down, supportive shoe without sacrificing things like flexibility mm -hmm. or even the weight of the shoe as well. We're finding this shoe is, is surprisingly light. Very light. Surprisingly light. Yeah. And it does the absolute trick. Beastly traction. Beastly. Performs like LeBron. We said it before. Racetrack herringbone does an absolute madness on the court, which yeah. helps, of course, with those traditional big man moves, those twists, those turns, those, um, what, what's, the, what's the one where they just turn? Rip through. Rip throughs. Big man. See? Smile okay. everything. It does everything. Mine does it everything. <laughs> <laughs> Partnered up with the amazing materials used. We have leather in the toe box. We've got this engineered mesh throughout the shoe, which keeps the shoe light and flexible. Yep. Mate. What a shoe, especially what? for support and being locked down. Madness. What's even crazier, I think, to me, yep. we're calling this the best shoe for big men, in our personal opinion, but there are actually quite a few guards in the NBA that love this shoe. There you go. Because the traction, the cushioning, everything about the shoe is actually that amazing. Players like Markel Fultz. Yep. Praise God to Markel Fultz. Yes, that's this shoe is absolutely incredible. Moving on up to our number four spot on our top five list, we have the Adidas Marquee Boost. Blah! Before I even start talking too much to me, mm -hmm. before I start talking too much, mm -hmm. this shoe is the most comfortable shoe in our list. The crown. It's done. The it's crown done. is the depth. This shoe, crown. the comfortability in this shoe is absolutely insane. It's insane. It's Insanity. Level. It's, next it's level. stupid. It is mental. It's crazy and it's rude. And how dare Adidas this provide us with a shoe that is so comfortable that I refuse to take this shoe off my foot? How dare? How dare you? It just got here, yep. but it's out here for blood. It came ready to go mm -hmm. and it took the fourth spot. So, good job. So we're talking all this good stuff about how the Marquee Boost is so comfortable, yep. but why is it so comfortable? Three things. First thing is a textile mesh along with very, very soft overlays throughout, including leathers, including tech, other textiles, and other image materials as well. Second thing is that padded collar. My God, that padded collar goes so hard. It is amazing. I didn't mean to do that. It goes hard, but it's super soft. That's what I meant to say. And then the third thing, boost, is life. Can we say that again? Can we say it again? Boost is life. Boost is life. And we've had Boost in many other shoes and many other shoes have been comfortable. True. But the reason why this shoe is in our fourth spot is because this shoe isn't a one trick pony to me. The traction was also very, very good. The support was also really well done. I felt so secure in the shoe. Okay, and when we talk about comfort, it's not just your general comfort, like the ones that you have in running shoes. Yeah. We mean basketball comfort. Oh, it's definitely. a snug and secure fit. And the padding that you get from this ankle collar and the cushioning that you get from the boost, along with the snug and secure fit, makes this shoe the most comfortable shoe in this top five. And the traction and the support are also absolutely incredible. What more can I say to me? There you have it, number four. So now talking about our third spot, this one was a little bit more tricky. Yeah. It could have been the Marquee Boost, but it could have been this shoe too. Yeah. So we sat down, we had a long, hard talk. Pause. And then we decided that this shoe was gonna take the third spot. And that shoe is... The Nike PG2. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If we're talking fit, the PG2 might be top one might be the best fit in shoe of 2018. Again, Timmy, you've made this mistake. I've made this mistake again. I didn't mean to. You've used might as an adjective to describe this shoe. I didn't mean to. It is the best fitting shoe of 2018. The best fit in shoe of 2018. The PG2 came out an absolute madness. Medley of materials, loads of different types, using different faces, doing their job, brought together with the most amazing lacing system we've seen in a long time. Longest. Lacing system banged severely. <laughs> and it did the absolute trick. Along with that, the yeah. cushioning system was four foot zoom with a super nice file on carrier. 
Super nice underfoot. Job done. Job done. Nike smashed it with this shoe. A madness. Absolutely smashed it. Now, even though the fit in the shoe screamed out to us, the traction wasn't that bad either. Not even a it little was bit bad. Amazing. So, One of so. the best traction patterns yep. of the year, I yep. think. Yep. 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 And that is absolutely insane. The floral aesthetic traction pattern did the absolute trick. Madness. Every single court we played on, yep. the shoe had us. Consistent. Consistently. What attraction pattern? Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Oh, yeah. Timmy, Flo, yeah. why did you score this shoe higher than the Marquee Boost? We just prefer playing than it, really. It's that so simple. simple, really. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, that's really it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the PG2. Yeah, I'll pick the PG2. It's a hard choice. <laughs> nah. <laughs> But here at Pure Kicks, we're a bit sport for choice. Yeah. So it really depends on how we feel. Oh, if I want to get buckets, I'm going to put on the PG2. I'm going to put a PG2 on. Do you know what I mean? But if I want to work out, get Ooh. some shots up, yeah, I'm yeah, putting on yeah, the marquee nice. boost. Pros and cons. Pros and cons, baby. You see that? Pros and cons, baby. Timmy, yeah. we're getting awfully close to that number one spot, bro. Pros and cons. Awfully close. Pros but before we get there, mm -hmm. we've got to speak about the number two spot. We have to, yes. Yeah, so moving on to the number two spot, we have. The Kobe AD NXT 360. I smacked that still, didn't yeah, I? Some, you now, sadly, the Kobe AD NXT 360 didn't make the number one spot. Cool. And I wish it did. However, when we get to the number one spot, you understand. You'll right? understand why it's undeniably the number one shoe of the year. No matter how much I want the Kobe AD to be successful, <laughs> it didn't quite make the cut. However, this shoe was absolutely incredible. Insane. Absolutely insane. Fam. Not only is it one of the best shoes of the year, mm -hmm. it is also one of the best Kobe's ever. Oh, fact. And maybe one of my favorite shoes of all time. Damn. All time's a big word. I spoke a lot just then, didn't I? You did. I said a lot of words. Yeah, a lot of stuff. I'm gonna start with the traction because it was ridiculous. Yeah. I stuck to the floor and I couldn't believe how amazing the traction was. Low key, I felt like Spider Man. I hear that. I didn't attempt walking on walls. You wanted to do that. But I feel like if I did try, I wouldn't be that bad at it. I hear that. It might not be fully successful, but A for effort. A for effort. A for effort. A for effort. Talking about the materials in the Kobe, we're talking the Best rendition of Flyknit we have ever seen. The best. Six years on, this is the greatest Flyknit we have ever seen. It's in basketball. Three, in basketball, in basketball. Well. It's 360, which means the entire shoe is made of Flyknit. Mm -hmm. It's lightweight, super, super lightweight. It's, it's ridiculously light. It's ridiculously lightweight. It's, it's a sock. Like, if I wasn't aware of me filming this video right now, I don't think I'm holding anything in my hand. I hear that. Is that that's how light is. You're not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Don't you know I mean like no, I hear that. Close my eyes, it's Flo holding something. I'm not too sure. I'll take it away. Did you take it yet? All those things about the shoe are absolutely fantastic. Easy. But they aren't the best aspect of the shoe, mm. in our personal opinion. The reason why this shoe is so stupid is because of this right here. The holy grail of Nike foam cushioning. Oh yeah. Nike have provided us with this once so far in the Kobe AD and XT360, and I hope they continue to do this forever and forever. Infinity and beyond. All of that. The cushioning was done. Combination of Lunalon and Nike React, the cushioning was just yeah. so stupid. I just didn't understand how foam, how Nike foam yeah. can feel that good to me. It was so dumb. I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to finish. All I'm gonna say <laughs> is that the cushioning in the shoe was so ridiculous, it upsets me that we didn't get that many colorways of the shoe. I hear that. That's all I'm gonna say. What the shoe get? was so stupid. Only got a few colorways, man. Only a few colorways. And then they moved on. And then they moved on. Now we're sure you're wondering, okay, if it's so good, why isn't it in your number one spot? Now the reason is pricing. Now, I'm not gonna say the price, because every time I do, Flo gets really upset. Now I'm not talking just upset, a little down. I'm talking legit depressed. He won't wanna talk, he won't wanna eat, he won't wanna do anything. 
The pricing. I'm just gonna say that. It's just, just pricing. Don't say the price, my guy. I'm not gonna say the price. 165 pounds. So, here we are. We've made it. You've made it to the number one shoe of 2018. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, thank you so much for your patience. Much appreciated. It's been a great year. It's been an amazing year. Incredible year. But the number one spot has to go to none other than the Adidas Pro Bounce 2018. I'd like to shoot you know. Fab. I am in love. Fab. They absolutely, Adidas absolutely smashed it out of the park. Out the like park. this, oh, this, fam. is this their best shoe? Fam, it might be. It's definitely your best this, shoe of the year. Best shoe of the year. Shoe of the year, of course. We hate best shoe. One. Yeah, we just have It's Adidas' best shoe. Fam, I, I can't think of one that's better at this time. I just know that this shoe does everything you ask it to and then doesn't try and steal, you, steal your money. I think value is a key thing here. It's a key thing. So huge, huge thing. It's a huge because thing because Tim, you, we work very hard. We for work our very money. hard. Extremely we hard. Work very hard for our money. So when these companies ask us for our money yep. in exchange for their product, yep. it's tough sometimes. It can be very. But to have a shoe this amazing, priced so low, priced properly, not even low, priced correctly. Now we spoke about this shoe since it came out. Every opportunity we can, we talk about how much we love it. You've asked us in the past few months, favorite shoe of the year, favorite this, top two of the year. We've always said the Pro Bounce because it just deserves it. Yeah. Why does it deserve it? Starting out with a cushion in, this is fine tuned bounce. This is amazing bounce. This is premium bounce. This is the bounce. We saw it in the Dane 4, for example. It did its trick. It was yeah. awesome. It's not quite boost. No, it's a takedown, but do we prefer it to boost? Low key, you know. In the pro bounce, I definitely do. For sure. I, I, say that, I you know, agree. When we're talking pro bounce, bounce over everything. Yeah. It just felt incredible. It's a little bit more firm, so it gives you that kind of underfoot support as well. Yeah. And court fit is amazing. Uh, comfort is amazing. Responsiveness is amazing. Everything's just amazing, especially when we're talking that cushion. Bro. Not to mention the upper materials, engineered mesh backed up by forged fiber. Mate. Just everything. Another. Checklist just full of green ticks. It's durable, it's lightweight, it's flexible, it's comfortable. Bro. Bro. <laughs> it's a madness, isn't it's it? It's actually a madness. I feel like I could talk about all day. All day. Really good. All day. And it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop. Because then you've got to talk about the fit. Ah, see, let's go. Which is, might be my favorite part of the shoe, fam. Because if you lace the shoe up properly, and I advise you do it the way I'm about to explain right now is you start from the bottom and you pull each bit as you work your way up to the top. You experience something that is rather marvelous to me. Marvelous, remarkable. It feels so good. It is each sexy. part of the shoe conforms to your foot and it feels bloody brilliant, man. Bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. Not only that, the lacing system is linked to the GeoFit system and the ankle collar, especially here in the high one, sorry. And there's a traction to talk about. Then there's traction. Oh, I'm losing like, it with this how shoe. How much more traction do I need? How much more thick? How many good things do you need in a shoe? Fab. Oh my god. Everything was just done Everything brilliantly. Everything done amazingly, brilliantly. Oh man, I can't think of another come up. I don't know. Words. I don't know. I mean, all in all, the Pro Brand is the greatest all round shoe I think I may have ever put on. All I around. agree. With you. We're talking every, especially when we're talking about performance reviews, we're talking all five of those um, aspects. Yep. It does them all extremely well. Yeah. Does them all. Maybe it doesn't do them all 10 out of 10, yep. but because it does them all so well, it becomes a, a damn, near 10, damn near 10 out of 10 shoe. Mate, it's, it's ridiculous how amazing the shoe performs. It's actually so dumb. And what makes it even greater, we mentioned it before, you guys can already see that I'm very sensitive when it comes to pricing and money. This shoe didn't burn a hole in my wallet. So thank you, Adidas. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Honestly, real quick, yeah? Sure. I need everyone, when I say everyone, all brands to see what Adidas has done here. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah? This is what I call no holding back. Giving your consumers the best you have. Everything you have in one shoe, and this is what Adidas has done and they didn't overprice it. That's it. So well done, man.
That's well how done. it's done. This is what you do if you want your shoe to be number one in pure kicks top five. So all right guys, there you have it. That's our top five for 2018. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Now as per usual, make sure you comment. Thanks for that. Make sure you comment down below what, comment down below your top five, because we'd love to know which ones you guys are. Sorry about that, sorry. We'd love to know your top five, so we love your thoughts and opinions. Comment down below what your top five might be, and anything that we may have missed out as well. Really sorry about this. Okay. Um, don't forget to like this video as well. Very important that you like this video, which is very important. I don't know what flows it. I'm really sorry. I'm really trying to do this outro properly, but flow is just being flow. So some things haven't changed. Now, of course, you have to subscribe to the channel. That's the most important one because we've got loads planned for you in 2019. Um, for example, flow's not going to stop being flow. Uh, but yes, we have loads planned for you and we're super, super excited about that. So now is the time to subscribe to the channel. So make sure you subscribe. And of course, follow us on our socials, which are very, very important. Hold on right there. Second, stop. Second. You got that? You got it? Yes, I've got it. Okay, carry on. Sorry. What do you mean carry on? Follow us on our socials at This Is Pure Kicks on across the board. That's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's Twitter, all of that to make sure you keep up to date with our shenanigans throughout the year. Are you kidding me right now? Go. Cool. You gotta be kidding. Okay. Um, so with that being said, Whip your kicks, let's get it.